Okay, this is me filming the Kelly Agricultural Historic Museum. People are going to come from this angle if they're coming from Indianapolis or Terre Haute. And they'll drive in and park over here. And then walk down that driveway back behind the schoolhouse. Um, and then the open grass that you see farthest away is where I was thinking we could have the ceremony. Uh, out by the road, people will see the farmhouse first. Bottom floor is where Darren can get ready and the top floor is where I can get ready. Uh, we're not sure if we need to have some kind of banner or sign near the front to have people turn in here. Whether we need a parking sign here. And also, uh, Jane Harper said that we have to be really careful with the schoolhouse, making sure that kids don't come in here without their parents. So, I don't know if somewhere around here we can make a sign that says something like that. She already has a no smoking please sign that she's going to want us to put up somewhere. And just to walk up here to the farmhouse so you can see part of it. We could even have lights on these bushes, I guess. Um, okay, just a walk through on the porch. Don't know if we can see inside, just barely into the living room that goes into the dining room. You can kind of see the dining room and the kitchen in there. Okay, walking around the porch. Looks like we have a fire pit area. I forgot about that. And then over here is where we will walk up to go inside the house to get ready. This is all open space that I don't think we'll be using for anything. And then this is just the garage. Wow, I really hope that it is warmer on May 19th than it is today. Okay, just to take a look at some of the buildings. Okay, this is the log cabin where some people put up their altar here, but I do not see how we would fit 225 people there. Um, and then trying to look inside the log cabin, you can kind of see it a little bit. And it actually has an upstairs that you can go in. Okay, this outhouse is a little creepy with these people in here. Yikes, let's close this door before the actual wedding. Yikes, okay. Big open field, this is where I thought we were gonna have the altar, but coming here, 
I really don't think that's enough space for 225 people either. This is the back of the cabin and the little side shed. And I am walking to where I think we could have photo booth set up inside this little barn. And then I thought over there on the concrete slab we could have the typewriter where people could do the whole guest book thing. Um, here are the bathrooms that they built. That are locked up. Don't know if you can see inside there. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got the hooks up on there. I only see two hooks where we can actually hook something. But then we've got the railing that we could decorate. And these shrubs could have lights on them, I guess. Um, so these two red barns have tractors and machinery if old men wanted to go in there. And the cool windmill. I thought this area right here, we could have the dance floor. And um, from that building to that building, set up the strands of lights. And then back here, like along both sides of the dance floor, we could have the straw bales so that people, when they're not actually dancing, could just sit in like a U shape around the dance floor. I thought maybe Jason Temple could set up his uh, DJing stuff there.